This course is really exciting to teach as a technology teacher because it uses the latest and most cutting edge technology. It relates to film industry, the games industry, the animation industry, and gives students a really practical foundation in things that they'll be using in their careers. Um, as a film teacher, we often spend a lot of time looking back at things in history of film and techniques that have been developed over a number of years. So it's really exciting in the VFX games design animation course to be looking forward and seeing the things that are emerging, things that might not exist yet even as, as jobs while the students are at school can be something that they can take on and develop in their careers. The technology we're using here is amazing. It's uh, cutting edge graphics cards and 3D rendering computers, which gives the students freedom, complete freedom, to be able to build things on the scale that they're looking for. So computers will quite quickly run out of space, memory, and processing to create foliage, trees, uh, lights, and all these kind of things. So by pushing the technology boundary, we push the students' ability to be able to create on the scale that they want to create on. Uh, in the labs here, we have brand new technology from Dell under the brand of Alienware, which has gaming-based technology. As a school, we also run eSports qualification, which means students can play games competitively or partly competitively and organize tournaments for local schools and for local communities to take part in. The best thing about having the course as part of the International Baccalaureate is that it comes with the International Baccalaureate values. So while the International Baccalaureate Diploma typically allows students to do service and write a thesis for a master project they write about, the CP, the careers-based program, allows them to do the same. Students take part in service to their local community, often using the skills which they're developing in the course, such as creating adverts and animations, logos and other things for, for local companies and charities. They also take part in a reflective project which allows them to look at an ethical dilemma related to their industry. So thinking about the wider workplace and even some of the issues that face it. By wrapping everything up within the IB program and an international baccalaureate approach, the students have a more all-encompassing view of their industry. By taking part in an international baccalaureate program, as well as their individual courses, students have the ability to see a full picture of the industry, think about the issues facing it, look at how to serve clients in the local community, and more broadly have the personal and professional skills that they need to progress with their careers. It's possible for students to go straight into the world of work out of the course, as opposed to a route of traditional study. Although it's always beneficial to take their skills further in education, they might look for internship opportunities, part-time work, and be able to get straight into the career that they're looking to pursue. One of the things that's so great about the IBCP course in Digital Arts is that the students are able to make choices about what they want to pursue in terms of skills. So often there'll be conversations about what they want to learn and how they'll pursue it, even if it's not contained within the principles and foundations of the topic. This means that they can Google and research and look at YouTube videos or tutorials that they found and pursue their own pathway to get into the results that they want. The classroom environment's relaxed, it's professional, but it has a studio feel to it. So students often work together, collaborate, discuss different approaches to completing the task, and generally work together in a workplace-like environment to apply the skills that they're learning to the products that they're creating.